Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and welcome to today's Monday morning live call it along. We're still working on volume 12. This morning, we are on uh, Facebook only. We are only on Facebook this morning. That's what we're doing uh, going forward. Paisley says hello, so good morning to everyone. So if you're watching this video uh, anywhere on Facebook and you'd like to share, 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 um, hey, Julie, okay, we'll see you soon. Sorry I can't make it today, but he's saying, okay, everyone. So we're going to be calling with colored pencils and an eraser. So that's kind of different, right? Um, let's get my dog settled. We're coloring a page in the form of gems and stones. Morning, right, Paisley? Paisley, let's see who's here with us this morning. We have. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Lisa. Mary Hannah's joined us this morning. Bonnie and Julie popped in, but they need to leave. That's okay. Thanks for stopping in. Lynn Miller, good morning. Good morning, Cindy Lamb. So, you know, it's summertime, and a lot of times in the summer, you don't get as many people glued to the computer, but that's a good thing, right? So, go out there and enjoy the weather for sure. So, this morning, we are coloring um, a page. From Color Along Volume 12, and we are going to do a Gems and Stones uh, Color Along this morning. And the page that's in, in this book uh, that we're working on is, Scarlet's, Scarlet's jumping up to get something off the desk, crazy dogs. Uh, the page we're working on this morning is this page from uh, my book, Doggy Mosaic Coloring Book for Adults. And this is a really good uh, type of page to practice Gems and Stones on. The other thing that I have with me um, today is when we did spring coloring camp, we had a day of gems and stones. So I have this, and I'll post this actually for all of you to, uh, to refer to. Um, I have this page that we used during coloring camp where we learned about gems and we colored nine different stones, opal, ruby, amber, topaz, emerald, amethyst, uh, turquoise, rose quartz, and sapphire. And the way I color gems and stones, everyone colors them a little bit differently, you know. And the other thing is that there's a couple of different types of gems and stones in the coloring book world. Um, some of them are just kind of like this, these ovals or just a circle, and you want to kind of make it look like that. Paisley, are you going to be a good girl today? Or there's some of them that are a faceted stone, which has more, which has some lines going through it. So um, we are focusing on the non-faceted stones so that's what we're gonna be focusing on this morning and to do that and to achieve that look we are going to be using uh, colored pencils I've got a maze rock colored pencils with me this morning and I'm going to be using this eraser a white eraser to remove uh, some of the pencil lines and to take away um, to get rid of to get rid of some of the, the pencil and to also to kind of create uh, that white look that highlight look I need to um, Oh, Paisley, my friend. Bok, 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 eh? I need to get my pencil sharpener. There we go. Good morning, Barb. All right, let's get Paisley to be quiet. Come here, Paisley. So the race is going to take it off, take away the um, the the color, so that we can get that highlight. My dog's just not being good today. I'm just going to put it right out there. I'm just going to be honest with you, and they're crazy today. You know what is going on? Planetary alignment? What's happening? Energy in the universe? I don't know what is happening with these crazy dogs. Good morning, Patricia, Jean, and Dawn, and Judy, and Alice. It's kind of like romper room, isn't it? So we're only live on Facebook from now on for these live color logs. Um, 
YouTube was becoming a little bit of a, tro of a problem for a lot of people, a lot of people having a challenge trying to be able to comment. Um, so I decided to eliminate the trouble because there's enough things in life that are difficult. Why um, have a color along me like that? And a lot of people were messaging me while I was live, asking me for help and asking me to get them uh, to figure out how they can be, they can comment on YouTube. Plus, people were commenting on, um, someone's giving me an angry face. Who's giving me an angry face? I know, sad, sad, sad. Who's giving me that angry face? I don't know. Um, so I, I did, it was a really, really hard decision, um, everyone, to make that decision as far as uh, being able to stream on multiple platforms at the same time. So, but you know, there's a lot that happens behind the behind a live color along. Um, I'm coloring, I'm chatting, I'm keeping up with the comments, um, and I just want to make sure that it go. It's a it's a smooth transition for everyone. Now, all that being said, the other thing that will happen is that once the color along is complete, in the next within in 48 hours, the video will be up on YouTube from this color along, and all color alongs will be uploaded onto YouTube so you'll be able to watch the replay of the color alongs on YouTube so I know that the best advantage for the color alongs being on YouTube is that you can sit on your comfy couch right and you can sit in your favorite chair and you don't have to be sitting at a desk or watching it on your little tiny phone or your tablet and it's really convenient to be able to pop YouTube on TV now I will say this some smart TVs you can go online you can go on Facebook so if you can get yourself if you can figure that out um, Thank you, Lisa. Lisa's saying all your efforts are greatly appreciated. I, you know, you got to kind of go, I, you can't please everyone, right? You can't please every single person every single time. Um, so there was a lot that I had to figure out about what to do with this. So Facebook, uh, so Facebook will be where we meet for live color alongs on our Monday mornings from the color along books going forward. YouTube will have the replay for the color alongs up and I'll be uploading those, um, within the next 48 hours, within 48 hours after the color along is over. So just to kind of give myself some wiggle room, just in case I want to, you know, eat, sleep, whatever. Then the other um, thing that will be happening is that I will be scheduling live color alongs from other books and those will be on YouTube. So there'll be those types of things. Um, and I'll be uploading different things to YouTube. Like this morning, I uploaded a flip through from my new book, The Coloring Handbook. So I uploaded a video that's live right now, a pre-recorded video that's on my Facebook page. It's silent, I did not have any audio with that. And then there's also a silent one uploaded to YouTube so you can watch that. So th there's still all the stuff that you can watch on my YouTube channel. There's over 200 videos if you wanna kick back on the couch and uh, and instead of watching Netflix, just watch Color Alongs. Um, so there is that to all to, to deal with. I'm just gonna give my pencil a quick shopping. Good morning, Bonnie, good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Dawn. So I'm just gonna start out with my little dog here. And I just kind of got this brown color and he's just gonna be brown. I'm not gonna worry about the gems and stone situation with this guy. Um, so I'm gonna give him maybe some multicolors, I guess. Um, I'm gonna just kind of give him a one, one coat, one coat, one layer of this color. Um, so hopefully that's not too, compute, too confusing. If you have any questions at all about uh, where live color alongs can be watched, uh, when you can watch the replay, or anything at all about color alongs, uh, just please do not hesitate to uh, send me an email, send me a message, um, and just just let me know. I will do my best to answer it. So, um, so what's new? What's new with every, with everyone? How was Fourth of July? How were fireworks with our furry friends? Wow. Wow, a wow, wow about the fireworks. Can we just put that out there? This past weekend, um, I was it was better than I expected, but they were really bad. And last night was probably the worst night. And uh, little Scarlet was sporting her thunder shirt. Um, Barbara's Barbara saying, is it confusing with YouTube and Facebook? Kind of. <laughs> Here, Paisley. Paisley needed me to use a, needed me to move a piece of furniture. Um, it kind of was, I mean, I guess if you could watch on, it kind of was for me on, on this end because there was a lot to keep up with. Um, I had to not only monitor the video that we're using, like we're doing right now on Facebook, but oh, Paisley, 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 hey Alexandria, but I needed to monitor, uh, the video on YouTube also. And then I had this other screen that was open. I had basically, uh, 
three browsers open in one on one screen. Now, Miss Hazel, come over here with me. Come here. You can join us today. Sit down. Good. You stay right here and you can color with us, okay? Maybe if I talk to you today, you'll understand that you shouldn't be barking like that. Miss Bossy Pants. Right? Just lay down right here with me and you'll be fine. Come on, lay down. Crazy dogs. Yeah, I st the ones I, the fireworks I heard last night, Lisa, were really bad. They were like the bomb, like the really big ones, like the explosive, like, M what do they call them, the M80s? I'm not really very, very well worst, worst, very well burst <laughs> in the firework lingo. Um, but I just know they make a lot of noise and they scare my dogs. Plus, they kind of scare me. Like, you're trying to relax, you're trying to go to sleep. Uh... I don't know. It's just too noisy. People are nuts. Plus the uh, the hot little red the temp embers. Is that what's called the embers? Falling on top of houses. Um, I don't know. It's just crazy. I saw someone post uh, that they had a lot of uh, firework debris in their yard, and they were worried about two different things. One of them, they were worried that their dogs were going to go out into the yard and they were going to eat them. The other thing they were worried about, which I thought was very interesting, and I would have been worried about this too is that their grass needed to be cut and it was all in the grass and they were wondering if i run them over i'm using a maze rock alice i'm using a maze rock um colored pencils this morning and they're actually watercolor pencils but i use them dry um so she was wondering should she cut the grass or what happens when she goes and runs over the um like the remains of the fireworks. Is there still gunpowder? Will they explode? I thought that was a very interesting, um, very interesting thing to think about because she was right. All right, so I've got this dog all settled here. I'm gonna jump into some gems and stones. So let's see with my, let's, ooh, my little, I have a crazy contraption going on lately with my camera and I am in need of repair. Let me tell you. All right, so let's see. I've got opal, ruby, and let's try this turquoise one because I think that one's kind of cool. So let's get a few different um, blues. So I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to use some purple. It's got a little bit of purple in there. This is the wrong pencil in my little kit. So go lay down, my friend, okay? And I'm going to use this light blue. And I see a little bit of green. All right, so I've got these four colors here. We've got um, light blue, kind of a greenish color, another green, a purple, and a white. Gonna give them a sharpen. Patricia's saying everyone left the house to go outside and do fireworks, leaving the four cups in here by themselves. Isn't that crazy? And had three shivering dogs and two box for about 30 minutes. It's awful. I have thunder jackets, Mary. Um, Scarlet wears a thunder shirt. And it works well, actually. The only problem with the Thunder shirt, to me, anyway, is that she knows that... Here's Scarlet. She, Scarlet knows I had to get Scarlet involved. She knows when, this, when it's time, and she sees it, and she's like, holy moly, we're about to have fireworks. So that's the only problem I see with, um, with the Thunder shirt. So let's do this one. We're going to do a few of these in this turquoise color. So the first thing I'm going to do is just color this with a light blue. I'm just going to give it a very light coat of this light blue color. Now I'm going to go back in with this greenish color here. I don't even know what this is called because they don't have names. And I'm just going to kind of fill in where maybe the white spots are. How's my lighting, by the way? Good? Hey, Marianne. I'm just gonna fill in where my kind of like the white spots are. Now think about a stone that has um, some little things running through it. So let's see if we can kind of pop this over here so we can kind of see it. So I'm referencing this. So think about um, just kind of where those lines are. I'm gonna pop in some green. The other thing is that you're kind of just like making the lines. You're not really coloring uh, kind of like a little bit of green over here, a little bit of green over there. You know, you're not really, coloring with a complete solid color 
And now I'm going to take a little tiny bit, maybe just a little bit of a line. See that right there? Just to kind of make a little bit of a line. The turquoise one here, we're not going to use an eraser. And then I'm going to take some white and I'm going to do white underneath my purple lines. So we are simulating, simulating. Watching with no sound island is here. Yeah, Scarlet knows. Scarlet knows that uh, she's too smart for her own good. Let's do another one like this. Um, let's do, let's do this one. Paisley, you have to stop crying, my friend. What's going on back there? So I think that the Thunder shirts, getting back to those Thunder shirts, I think they work really well, but I think that may be a disadvantage if you've got a dog that's kind of on the ball. Um, but the whole concept behind that Thunder shirt is that it just kind of compresses them, tightens them. Um, <laughs> Patricia, Patricia's saying, the lighting is fine, my glasses are a problem. I've got my crazy uh, my crazy lamp going on from, my, from the dollar store that I uh, bought for a dollar. I need to do a giveaway with that lamp, let me tell you. Maybe we'll do a surprise giveaway at camp with that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of purple. Paisley, you're a crank back there. And then I'm going to take some white. So we're simulating this. You know, we are not doing perfection here with these stones. We're not making them exact. We're not in a jewelry store, you know. So you want to make sure that it's just really kind of, um, I mean, you know, isn't life a simulation? I mean, we could go back into the whole thing of, are we really here? <laughs> right? Are we really in this universe? What universe walks among, among us? Do you guys believe in a parallel universe? Is there someone else walking beside you when you're walking down the street? Paisley believes in it. That's why she's grumbling back here. Will you stop it, please? What is happening down here? I'm gonna put a little bit of green here. I figured I'd do a few of these in this color. And it's kind of like, um, I don't know. I wanna say like mad scientist, but like just kind of keep adding a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then we could do it even do kind of reverse now. I've got, I was using this blue and now I'm gonna use, and then I was using this, but let's flip it. So let's do this one like this. So it's kind of a greenish one. And then I'm gonna do the blue on top of it. These pencils are really nice for using dry. Even though they're considered watercolor pencils, I like them better. Now let's take away some color on this one. We're just gonna take this little tiny eraser. I actually like to cut these erasers. Let's make sure they don't cut my finger. But I like, to, hey Beth Turner, I like to, I'm just gonna kind of cut a little tiny piece off it um, with my X-Acto knife. And then I'm just gonna go in and kind of erase the middle section because I want it to be a little lighter than the rest. So I just kind of made my eraser small enough to fit in there. I guess if you have, a, you know, they have uh, erasers that are like a pencil. Do you believe in that, Trish? Alternate timelines, parallel universes, uh, you know, you're walking down the street, you're, you're driving down the street, and there's another universe that's driving, down, driving past you, and, you know, that whole thing, do we, it's like, do you see things um, because you're supposed to see them? You know, it's like the red car syndrome, right? You buy a red car, and then all of a sudden you see all these red cars. They were there before, but you just weren't ready to see them. That makes sense. This is gonna get. I'd be. This is gonna be a deep conversation today. No, I won't. I won't take it. Down. I won't go down that road. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that like that. Now let's do one that is more of a rose quartz. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, a few different pinks. So we've got this pink and this one. And then, do I need another one? Well, what color is this? Oh, this is a kind of a really dark red. I'm just gonna give these a quick shopping. My pencils are not ready today. How about you? You ever have a day like that where your, your pencils are just not ready? So I added a flip through this morning um, of my 
uh, coloring handbook, but I'm going to show it today if anyone's interested. Doing this one with just a light pink here. And then I'm going to go back with this very dark color. Look how dark that is. See that dark? Well, can you see this dark color right here? And then I'm gonna put some kind of like veins going through them. Just kind of like that. Just kind of some little bit of little lines, little veins going through. And I'm gonna go back over with this darker pink. To get that pink color. That happens to you, Judy? Isn't it crazy the things that happen to, to people and you think, Boy, this never happens to anybody else, but you start talking to people and it really does happen to everybody else. And then where's that color here? We're gonna kind of put some veins going through. And then go back over with this color right here. And the reason why I'm going back over the veins with this darker pink, kind of the medium pink, is because I don't want those veins to be like you know, blaring, just sticking out too much. I want them to be um, there, subtle. I want them to be um, get something going on here in the back in the background on this computer it's crazy right, let's do another rose quartz kind of looks pretty next to that doesn't it the light pink first so I don't want those veins to be like blaring you know wish you could do that with your skin don't you think sometimes I look at my hands and I'm like or like ooh, does that little blemish on my skin or somewhere on my I don't know my leg or something it's like do I want that to be there let me get a colored pencil and color over it Right? Wouldn't you wish you could do that? I mean, you could use makeup, obviously, but, um, all right. And then I think I'll add a little bit of white to this one because I feel like I just kind of need a little bit of a highlight here. And then I'll go back over to here. So if you're just popping in for the very first time for this live color along or for this video, I'm live every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Um, here on Facebook, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And we color uh, different things. They're always free to, color alongs are always free to watch. And then if you want to color what I'm coloring, um, I have them available in the color along book. And can you believe it's almost time for camp? I can't believe it. Who's, who's excited for camp? I'm excited for camp. The giveaways are going to be awesome. And maybe, maybe just maybe, 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 I'm going to see if Marty Woods would uh, maybe chat with me, chat live with me. But I know he's on the other side of the world. So do we want to chat with him in the middle of the night? We don't want to wake him up. My sister calls skin blemishes accessories. <laughs> that's or, that's our uh, accent. They could be called accents, right? That's a good idea. That's a good way of putting it, Lisa. You could always just use makeup and cover it up. Here's this darker pink color here. And then let's put some more pink maybe up here. Gotta get this out of the way. You stay up there. Hello, Pat Christie. And then I've got this dark, darker pink here. Now let's add some emerald, right? So we've got a few different greens. Emerald is green. Here's an even better green than that. 
And I'm actually going to go over with, I'm going to use this darker green. I'm going to take away the color. So let's do kind of a bigger one. Um, so I'm going to use this, you know, our typical, thank you, uh, Alexandria. Camp is July 21st to 27th, July 21 to 27th. Um, I'm coloring, you know, our usual uh, shade from Dr. Light or Light to Dark, right? I'm excited for camp too, Beth. So I'm going to do that little, that method here, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can get the edges of this. And then I'm going to go a little bit lighter in the middle. Then I'm going to take this other green color. I don't know the name of it. Maybe we should name them. And I'm going to kind of put that in the middle here and on this edge and all across there. And I'm going to take my eraser, the little tiny miniature one that I made, and just kind of erase the middle. And that'll just kind of create that highlight in the middle. Let's do another one. Uh, let's see, we'll do this one right here. I'm going to do a few of these green ones. But I like the blend of this, um, of these two greens. And then I'm gonna take my little eraser, erase. And I'm using a white eraser because, hey Pat, but and I'm using a white eraser because if I don't use a white eraser, if you use a pink eraser that's at the end of a, um, a pencil, you'll get the pink, you know? The pink will stay and you don't want that to happen. You don't want to have that, that ickiness of the pink. So here's another green one. And using this green again, like we did earlier. Let's do this one and let's do another one over here. And then I'll go back in with the eraser. Wish I had one of those pencils that had an eraser inside it. Those are cool. Here's my little eraser there, kind of in the middle, in the middle. Do one up here. Dock to light, heavy pressure, light pressure, and then go on and add that green. I have a new book that I'm working on called Mighty Mandalas. You know my Mandala sketchbook? Well, I've got a whole book of those that I did a whole book of all those mandalas. And it hopefully will be out this week. I just have to finish assembling it. section here with some light green and then I'm going to go back in with that eraser again look I'm using the big one though the little one was getting lost underneath my fingernails it was crazy and then let's see if we can put maybe um you know what's interesting the interesting one to me is the opal the, the opal one is always interesting to me because the opal one is just such multi-colors um, because when you look at an opal, there's just so many different colors. So let's see, we've got some blue, um, and a little bit of yellow, and maybe a little bit of this kind of purplish color here if we kind of work on that with a light color. And let's see what we can do with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of add, um, I'm actually going to add, put color the whole thing white first. And what that does is it kind of gives it a base because the color is going to look different if it's colored on top of a colored pencil, like the color versus colored on top of just the paper. Does that make sense? So it's just, you wanna just make sure that it has kind of like a base color. And matter of fact, um, I talk about that in, where is that book anyway? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I talk about this in the coloring handbook um, when we do the impressionism uh, tutorial. See if we can find it. On the impressionism tutorial, I talk about just that. Impressionism is a, a painting style, a painting uh, genre that 
um, uses a lot of short strokes. Van Gogh is uh, most famous for, for Impressionism. And I apply it to uh, a coloring page in this tutorial. And one of the things that I talk about in this tutorial is explain that the first step is to color a base layer on the entire page in a light color. So if you see these here with these light little tiny strokes, I colored it the whole thing. And a lot of times when people are painting, hey Carol, um, a lot of times when people are painting, um, they will paint the background of their canvas. Sometimes if they're painting a landscape, they'll paint the background of their canvas a very, very light golden yellow. I don't exactly know the reasoning why the, the color is chosen, except that it's really kind of a neutral color. Um, the other thing is that it gets rid of the pits that are in the canvas, so it's almost like you're priming it. It's like a gesso to it, so it's kind of like a prime. Um, but it's totally different. What happens to your colors when you call, when you do that base layer um, is it really kind of changes how the pencil um, reacts to your coloring, to the actual paper. So here is, see, look at that. See how it's kind of just blending, almost like it's blending from the underside of it. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue here. And there's kind of a little scribble of blue here. And then I'm going to go with a little kind of scribble light, light, light of, uh, of this purple color. Kind of like a gray color. Paisley's still growing in the background over there. Paisley, I don't understand what the problem is today. You're being bossy pants. And we're gonna add a little bit of yellow. So think of it this way, the opal is reflecting everything that's around it. So it's if you could have other colors that are reflecting inside that. Hope that makes sense. Um, and then let's try another one like that. So again, I'm gonna pop the a white just on top of it. I mean, you could like even think about how I colored this dog. I did kind of a light brown, then I went back over it with a little bit of a darker brown. It kind of went inside the pits of it. So you could do the same thing all the time with other coloring pages. We go, we, I've got to address Paisley's mo moaning in the background here. You know, Paisley, I don't understand what your problem is. What is going on over there? You have everything. You have your teddy bear. You have a bone. Maybe I need to, everything I say, I need to say. And then, Paisley, this is where we're going to put the purple paint, Paisley. I'm just going to keep saying her name. <laughs> A little bit of yellow. And then let's pop another one over here. I'm going to do this with totally white again. Do you need help with the toy or something you can't reach? I gotta help her. Here, hang on a second. Let me go help her with the, with her toy. playing in the pool uh, Judy I had Judy's talking about the video that I had of my of Paisley playing in her um, in her pool and um, she splashes but I'm gonna tell you Judy it's fun right it's fun to watch it's, it's not not fun when she does that in the water bowl in the kitchen I mean no need to wash the kitchen floor when you've got Paisley around that's for sure she just splashes Don't ever run out of paper towels in my house because you'll always have something you need to clean up. And maybe I'll put a little bit of green in this one. Need another one kind of like uh, maybe down here. Now, some people use uh, do gemstones when it's the faceted kind. It's totally different. It's a different look. I think maybe I need to do a book of those, a coloring book of faceted uh, gemstones. It is her job. <laughs> yeah, it's Judy. Exactly. It saves me from washing the floor, that's for sure. When the whole floor is flooded, why wash it? I 
I think I start to think that maybe she thinks that like I don't know things are just not clean enough so she's like I'm gonna do this it's time she's not happy with the cleanliness apparently she should vacuum next that would be good and put a little bit of green inside there all right, let's see what other one we're going to do. And I'm going to kind of mix it up, too, because I feel like I want some of these to just kind of stand out, but I don't really know if it should be all be that. But let's see if we can do a sapphire one with some blue. Um, because the sapphire is blue, right? So same concept as we did with the uh, emerald, with the, the green. So here is kind of a darker blue, and I'm going to go with a lighter, with a heavier pressure, and go all the way to light. And then I'm going to take this lighter blue. Look how light the, the lead is. I don't know if you can tell. The lead is so much lighter than it is on the pencil. And I'm going to go over that. It's almost like a periwinkle color. And I'm going to take my eraser and kind of erase what is there in the middle. Let's do another one. Kind of over here. Same type of thing. And then again, kind of a uh, another look to it and then erase a little bit so I'll do a few of these hey Holly Hamilton thanks for thanks for stopping by I do this every Monday um, we color from one of my uh, color along books do a live coloring tutorial and it's always free to watch and uh, we do kind of a coloring tutorial type thing um, so there's a flip through now on my Facebook page uh, finally and on YouTube of my coloring handbook and you know the coloring handbook I actually kind of I'm thinking of, I'm calling it um, I'm calling it calling it the uh, you know the notes you wish you took in the color along because sometimes people watch color alongs and they're like wait what was that I've got to go back but if I had it in a book if I, if I had it like written down then it would be there so that's what the coloring handbook is all about so it's different than a lot of the tutorial books that are out there where you color a specific thing, um, that type of thing. What are you looking for, Judy? Over time, I've learned not to pay attention to the outer shells as much just because of that. Um, Seamus finds the pool boring and prefers the hose squirt again. Oh, Scarlet likes the hose. A book with faceted gemstones. Beth is saying, my daughter's dog is terrified of water. He won't even walk past his water bowl when he's going inside his crate. You can't force. How does he drink water? How does he have a drink of water, Beth? That's interesting. I'm using this uh, kind of like more of a purple color on this one. And then I'm going to take uh, some white, kind of blend this whole thing. So it's more like a lavender type stone. So look at that. So we kind of created that one just by, and I don't know what that is, but it kind of has the stone look, doesn't it? Again, stones in your imagination. So dark, heavy pressure here, light up, lighten up a little bit. And then a uh, white on top of it really kind of changes the color of that. And again here, I'm going to do it over here. Got to add some more. Plus the, you know, the placement of your color as far as where you place them um, on the page. Like you want, you want to kind of place things that kind of look good together. So look at this purple and this uh, purple and this turquoise that kind of look good together. It's kind of like wearing clothes. I mean, unless you're like, I don't know, unless you're three and you're wearing a fleece sweater and cowboy boots on a hot August day, right? You can always tell when the mo when the mom has had enough. When you're in, like, I don't know, Walmart or Target. And you're, uh, and you see the kid that dressed themselves. That always kind of cracks me up. Doesn't it kind of crack you up? Let's do a uh, brownish one. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Kind of a brownish, uh, orangey, maybe an orange. Hey, how about those people who are licking ice cream and spitting in salsa and swigging Listerine and spitting it back? What the heck is going on? Uh, I want to see the video of the girl swimming. It's on my uh, personal Facebook page, Diana. It's like a two-minute video. I don't even think it's two minutes. It's quick. Quick, quick. I'm just going to kind of do a brown here. 
and then I'm going to kind of put orange on top of it and then this color on top of that and then let's take some black is this black and run some little lines through it so it's almost like a tiger's eye so we can do that one again Beth, that is funny. What a crazy dog. That's so, dogs are quirky, aren't they? Alexandria is asking if I can show some pages from my new mandala book I'm working on. Yes, definitely. They're, they're just kind of my drawings, though. They're not like a printed out, um, you, you know, they're not a printed out version. But you know what I want to print, actually? Let me see if I can print it while I'm, while I'm chatting with you. Um, I want to see if I can print it. Because I want to know if you guys... It's, first of all, the book's going to be a square book. It's called, going to be called Mighty Mandalas. And it will be square. And I'm going to print this one, actually. Um, oh, my goodness. Let's see. Oh, technology. What is technology doing to everyone? I'll tell you. All right, let's see if we can get this one in here. Uh, all right. Okay, I'm going to print that. Print. Back to the video. Holly says, it was awful. I have no idea what people are doing that stuff. You could easily make someone sick if you're licking ice cream and putting it back. Isn't it crazy? What is going on? What is going on with this crazy world? Um, you know, I, I, rather, I would much rather buy uh, shop online, but then I'm starting to wonder, uh, I, I don't know, what's happening with the case of something? Like, I just bought something online. It was all in a sealed case. It was food. And um, so much cheaper, too, than in the store. But anyway, I, it's just, it's scary. What is happening to this crazy world? Listerine and uh, it's just, do we have to make that much of a spectacle of ourselves? Oh, I went with orange next. I saw that the person that uh, licked the ice cream is supposed to get 20 years in prison. I find that hard to believe. I should do a book of Paisley. Oh, that's a good idea. You mean like Paisley patterns? I don't know if those are popular anymore. Are those still popular? Some orange on top of this. And some lighter brown. And my page printed. So let me show you the, I'll show you the, let's take a, a minute here and um, I'll show you the, the new book if I can find it. Have a feeling you're constantly losing stuff? Wait, I feel like that. Okay, so here's the new book. This is called Mighty Mandalas. I don't have the cover to show you though. Um, and Mighty Mandalas is uh, mandalas that are drawn with these templates that you can actually do your own mandalas too. My mandala sketchbook. I'm going to be scheduled. I've got to schedule a, um, another mandala class like we did last time <coughs> using these templates. And all the paint, this is my, so these have pencil on them. These are, these are not finished, okay? So this book will have 24 pages of this size. Um, I do have a lot of my groceries online too now, Patricia. It is cheaper, and yeah, it's way cheaper. A lot of stuff on Amazon. I can't believe I just bought um, bought tuna on Amazon. I can't believe I, I spent half of what I would normally spend. Let's break this up, okay, you guys? Here. So this book is going to have twenty four pages of these mandalas. It's going to be eight and a half by eight and a half size book, so it'll be square, and. Um, Gonna help Scarlet with something. Here you go, Scarlet. Here. Well, you can't have that piece because that's kind of good. That's gonna get. Okay, there you go. So, <clears throat> and then what I was thinking is that it will also have uh, pages like this. 
so it'll be small. What do you guys think about this? This is what my question is. Um, Alice is saying, why would someone think it was funny to do those things? Uh, isn't it awful? It's just the sick old wick in the ice cream fortune lives in my city. No, you're kidding, Diana. No more ice cream for you. No kidding. I know. But you know what? You got to make sure you can tell if something's been open, right? Don't you think you can tell? I like when someone says, upset about people acting insane. Facebook has given people so much attention that they become addicted to it. I totally agree with you. You know what else is, you know what else happened to? I just recently had this experience. Um, social media in general has uh, stopped people from, I'm going to flip through this while I, while I talk about this, has stopped people from knowing how to interact face to face. So you have a conversation, I just had this happen to me recently. You have a conversation with someone and they, you ask them a question and they just look at you like, like, it's like you want to unfriend someone and you block them. Imagine if you could do that in the real world where you don't want to be bothered with someone and you could just erase them and poof, snap your fingers, poof, you're gone. Um, yeah, so it's just, I, it's very sad, it's very sad what's happening. Um. I worry about what's going to happen when the people that are between, I don't know, maybe, I want to say as, as old as 35, maybe 40, what's going to, maybe 35, what's going to happen to those people when they are the only people left? So how many more years? What's going to happen in, I don't know, 50 years, 60 years, um, when those people are 90 and all we have are um, people that only used uh, social media to text and they never had a conversation and you know what will happen Beth is saying Mary says I feel like I'm sitting watching the world change right in front of me well you know Mary um, you're yeah isn't it amazing I feel like that too and um, I just I don't I mean I say that about people that are in their 60s 70s 80s what does the world look like um, to those people because it must look really really interesting because think about, some people have grown up with uh, when there was no phone, no TV, and now look where we've come. So what does that look like? I, that's, those are people that I that are in, would be interesting to have a conversation with. Um, Beth is saying, when I worked retail, people would try on lipstick, nail polish, and then put it back. I know, isn't it awful? But sometimes, oh, they would put a different one than they tried on. It's very sick. Holly says, we had people who would leave clothing stockings everywhere in the home department. It's awful. Awful, awful. Now we interact with emojis, exactly. And you know what? People think that they just kind of like, they're st they, they look at you blankly when you're having a conversation with them and there's a disagreement because they don't know how to have an, an emotional react, an, an exp a facial expression. And they flip flop, I, I, I don't know. Holly's saying that I'm 25 this year, so I don't know, millennials aren't as bad as the new generation. What do you consider the new generation? Hey, uh, Scarlett, come here. Come here. What is the new generation called now? Come here, Scarlett. I have this for you. You want it? Yeah, for you. What is the new generation called? Alexandria said, uh, says she loves these. Thank you, Alexandria. You know, these were fun to draw. Um, and, you know, they start out with this kind of like gray looking grid, which is in my Mandela sketchbook. I, I, I have a sketchbook you can buy online on Amazon, $6.99. And you can get these grids and just kind of go to town and do it yourself. Um, there's a, a video you can watch. There's a demonstration of one of these. It's on YouTube. And um, I'll be doing another class with them also. But these kind of are, they relax me. And I, I mean, people say to me, how can they possibly relax you? It's so confusing. It's really not. And I don't know what happens. It's just like, I guess it's like people that like to do a crossword puzzle. You know, you kind of have to count the, the, the spaces, count the grid. It's the, it's a total grid. What do you think about the one that has the four little ones, Alexandria? All right, now this one is just kind of a, uh, a printout of one of these. So that's what these three are. So there's going to be 24 of these. Um, I thought about doing this same book in the 3D version because I know a lot of people have commented. Here's my 3D one that I'm working on. It's a totally different book. But a lot of people have commented that um, sometimes they'd like to have them maybe not the mandalas that are in the three books, not in 3D. So maybe I'll do that 3D book. Uh, my 3D books are available in Spanish now. So you can get mandalas in 3D volume one and two um, in Spanish if you are interested. So those are, that's what, that's a cool thing that's been happening. Um, I'm going to catch up to these comments. The high school is in the Gen Z. Oh, Gen Z. Oh, yeah, Gen Z. They never go outside, right? 
Yeah, I think that that generation is really bad. But you know, even even some people. I mean, maybe it depends on the industry you're in. But even some people, or maybe it depends on the actual person. Um, some people is all it's all the way up to like 35 is what I found. Um, I mean, some of you are okay that are in your 20s, um, but it's kind of sad. The ones that are in high school now, I really feel sorry for. But because they haven't really even been in the real world with a job yet too, right? So they don't really know what to do. Maybe when they get out in the real world, if there is a real world for them. I don't know if there will be a real world. Judy says, I was born in 1955. Half of the time my parents couldn't afford electricity, so there was no TV or any of the other perks. I know, interesting, right? My sister has never let her kids fail at something. I dread the calls when they first do, Patricia's saying. I agree with you. That is awful. Apparently the new generation is called Gen Z. Gen Alpha. Really? So we're all the way back to Gen Alpha. Interesting. New generation of the upcoming millennials. Crazy. Those are really cool. Thank you, Diana. Jean says, I was born in 1943. Yeah, so like my mom. So what does the world look to you? Like, what does that look like? You know? Um, you know, so it's just, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a crazy situation. It's very crazy. Can I overlap them? I could. You think I should? Oh, wait a minute. Can I overlap those? Um... I don't know. I don't think I can. I might. I'm not sure. <laughs> can you tell? Can you tell that I don't know the answer to that question? I don't have to. I have to check, Patricia. I have to track, check that. Sometimes the if it doesn't have, when it's in my computer, if it doesn't have white inside the spaces, it cannot be overlapped. So then it'll just look like, you know, scribble lines on top of scribble lines. Does that make sense? So I'm just finishing up the rest of these mosaics to have um, just some color on them, you know, just to kind of pop some color in. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot my friend Orange. Where is my head? I'm gonna do this one with a very, very heavy pressure so it becomes really kind of a darker orange and that's it, just, just nice and solid. Just a nice solid orange. You don't like this orange color, Paisley? Hey, Miss Melody. Barb, it's almost your birthday. Paisley, Scarlett's, birth Scarlett's birthday is next Sunday. She's going to be eight. July 14th is Scarlett's birthday. Paisley doesn't like it, apparently. Paisley, how about this? Come here. Why don't you sit down, okay, Pays? Sit down, baby. Sit down. Oh, it's Scarlet. I didn't know. Just kind of a, a grapeish color here. So for those of you that would like to kick back on your couch and pop on YouTube when there's nothing to watch on TV, when it's hot outside, you want to turn on the air conditioner. Uh, this video will be made available within the next twenty, next 48 hours. Right, Scarlett? Scarlett's going to be on that. Scarlett's, Scarlett's job to do that. Come here, sweetie. Come here. And it'll be um, on YouTube as a replay. Put some yellows in here. And then maybe a little bit of a darker blue color. Up here. Scarlet, you sound like something's wrong. All right, so that's this page complete. I'm just going to leave this on here while I go get Scarlet something because she looks like she's going to pee her dog pants. Um, one of the sisters turns 50 on the 27th. Your birthday is July 14th or July 16th, Barb. Holly says, I've just been listening and popping in while working on the mermaid I showed you. Oh, cool. Will the comments be on YouTube too? No. But the link to this will be on YouTube. I mean, the, the, there'll be a link to this, but the comments won't be on there. I don't know if I can put the comments. Good question, Lynn. Good question. 
question, Lynn. I'll have to find out if I can do that. Mary's saying, I guess every previous generation has been saying the same thing about the new generation. I remember when my parents thought the Beatles had very long hair. I guess so, but you, I feel like maybe this is worse. This is probably the most extreme. You don't think it's the most extreme? Mary, how about you, Lynn? What do you think about it? Do you think it's the most extreme? Oh, July 14th. Okay, Barb, you and Scarlett have the same birthday. I'll, I'll never forget that then, right? Hey, let's flip through my uh, coloring handbook because I did a live video. Um, and I did a live video. I, well, I did a pre-recorded video, not a live video. But I really have not um, kind of opened up this book live on Facebook and really kind of talked about what was in it. So I wanted to take a moment to do that this morning while we are here this morning. I mean, unless if you don't want to watch it, you can obviously tune out. Um, your mom didn't like the Beatles in the 60s. Isn't it funny? All right, so the coloring handbook, this is my proof copy. That's why it says not for resale. Um, it's available in Spanish now also, so that's cool on, on Amazon. Everything inside, the whole thing is in Spanish. Um, and here is the back of it. So eight and a half by 11 book. And this book, um, I kind of like to say that it is the note you wish you took when you, when you were watching a live color along. So uh, there's different techniques that are throughout this book and here's a list of them here, but rather than read that boring list to you, uh, let's just dive right in. So the first page talks about uh, just kind of how to follow me on social media. And then this page right here uh, gives you these five little, uh, I mean, sorry, these four little boxes, just kind of interesting little things about your coloring hobby, some tips and tricks, benefits of coloring, um, photo, tips to photographing your coloring, your pages, because a lot of people have that question about that, photoring, photographing their pages, and then get social. So that's kind of talks about your coloring hobby. Then it has a table of contents. What's cool about this book are two things. First of all, um, what's cool about this book is that uh, you can, you know what page number it's on. A lot of books do not have uh, page numbers on them, the table of contents. And at the bottom of the table of contents um, is a link. When you purchase this book, you can go on my website with this code and you can download some free extra worksheets from this coloring book as in PDF form. So um, it also has a color wheel and then there's a whole page that talks about uh, coloring supplies and uh, goes over what each type of coloring supply is gives you kind of a little description Right Scarlett, you, this is your favorite page too And then it talks about blending solvents because there's a lot of talk about blending solvents. What are they? What do you do with them? This is this is where uh, all of the dirt is. I see a lot of seniors with tattoos now too, Mary What's gonna happen the people that you see with so many tattoos? What are they gonna look like when they're 90, right? Then it has um, the step-by-step the, the -step tutorials. We just dive right in. Come here, Scarlett. I'm going to show you this. Step-by-step -step tutorials, uh, gel crayons, and then the way each tutorial in this book is set up is that it has the tutorial here, which gives you an explanation, and it doesn't really go into anything that is too deep and too confusing and too detailed um, with giving you, like, uh, instructions for each box but basically give, i give kind of a an overview or a description about what happens in these four images and what happens in these four images talking about uh how to use gel crayons and exactly the the things you need to know the, the really important things you need to know and then the tutorial then has a gel a worksheet for it so on the next page for gel crayons um, this is how to practice using those gel crayons so it gives you some instructions using the boxes below. Practice short strokes and blending with gel crayons. Crayons as you combine two or more colors on top of one another, or by creating a gradual transition from one color to the next. So in this very first box, you are you're going to work with yellow and blue. Then you're going to work with yellow and red. And then you're going to go on with red, red, blue, and yellow. And then there's more boxes at the bottom to go on with uh, using that type of practice. So this is how the book is set up. I mean, it has. Here's one about gel pens, again, a worksheet. Another one that talks about adding doodles, and it talks about this, it gives you a list of benefits of doodling, and then a worksheet. So that's how the book is set up. Um, and then at the back of the book are the coloring pages that are used in the tutorials in full size that you can use and you can apply what you've learned. Um, at the bottom of every page, there's also a, um, it tells you which book all of these tutorials are from. 
or which book the illustrations are from. So for instance, this is the bolding technique. Here's a bolding worksheet. And you can find uh, these flowers in my book, Peaceful Evening. I think that they're going to have to figure out how they need to uh, care for the piercings. Don't you think, Mary? That will be interesting. The giant ear holes are really scary to me too, Holly. And then it has coloring pages in 3D. Again, a worksheet. And then at the back of the book, there's those full page uh, coloring pages. Stained glass is another technique with the worksheet. And then this was a cool one. We did this one, uh, the last color along, where we create textures with tape. You put the tape underneath it. It tells you what to do. Another worksheet so you can go ahead and practice doing that. And really uh, kind of, because it's practice makes perfect, right? So the best thing, best way to learn something um, is to do it. Just do it. Practice it. Do it. Do it over and over. You want to get better at it, just keep doing it. So um, it applies to everything. You want to learn how to cook? Keep cooking. You want to learn how to sing? Keep singing. You want to learn how to uh, create something and draw something and color something? Just keep going. Oil pastels is another one. Step by step for grayscale illustration. Uh, colored pencils blending. Colored pencil shading. Paisley's going to bop for every single one. Pointillism, talk about some different artists in here. Again, a worksheet. And then Impressionism, chalk pastels. Monochromatic, which is only one color. And then it talks, of, we go over just a number two pencil. And then at the back, we, I have a glossary. And then I have a list of resources of where you can purchase. Um, and then um, I have a page for notes and then the back of this book has the full size coloring pages that are a variety of coloring pages from all of my books well not every single book but from some of my books so let me see if we can just kind of flip through this quickly here um, so I hope that this book uh, my goal was to make this kind of an extension of a color along of the color alongs and kind of make it the notes that you wish you took during a color along. So that was my goal. My goal was to make it a book that you could use as a reference book. So at 2 a.m. when you're thinking, man, I don't really know what I want to know do about that with pointillism. You can go back and you can read up on it. You can be inspired and you could do something else. Um, Holly, Diana saying, I just got mine yesterday and I love it. Need more for the grandkids. Thank you so much. And this is also volume one. So that means, as Lynn told me, I've committed to volume two, right? Um, Holly says they had, they had an adorable comic where they had old ladies yelling, queen at their caregivers in a nursing home. So funny, right? The Coloring Handbook is the name of the book. And um, on Amazon, you can get this book in English or you can get it in Spanish. Um, <coughs> it's $21.99 right now. You know, the more people that purchase this book, sometimes uh, Amazon will put it on there, will, will put the sale, put it on sale. The other thing that I think helps it go on sale, which this is my only my crazy theory, but hey, it, does, it doesn't cost anything to do this, is put it in your wish list. I tend to put things in my shopping cart, but I have to stop doing that because the other day I had $193 worth of stuff in my Amazon shopping cart and I said to myself, wow, you better get that out of here. Yeah, before you accidentally buy it, you know? Trisha's saying, I can't wait to order mine. I'm so excited and hope it'll get, get me off the computer more. Well, yeah, that's the other thing, too. Thank you, Trish, for saying that. Exactly. Get you off the computer. Um, because you want to watch Color Alongs or you want... I mean, this is really just a complete worksheet. So kind of an extension of Color Alongs and Coloring Camp. Um, and I have enough content for Volume 2, so I will be doing Volume 2. Um way before Christmas. Volume 2 will be out before Christmas because I just feel like it makes sense if it's out before Christmas. Um, and that's the Call Me Handbook. So if you have a chance, uh, check it out on Amazon. Tell your friends about it. Um, Lynn says, I wanted to record Bohemian Rhapsody and accidentally recorded it in Spanish. It was funny to watch. That must have been hysterical, actually. So... Today we colored from with gems and stones. Let's see what we're doing next time. I have my little tape thing. That's the other thing. If you want to use something with tape to create that texture, you can just keep them and just reuse them. Next week we're coloring in the monochromatic style, and that's only one color. So we'll be coloring with the monochromatic style um, next Monday on um, July 15th. And then um, the following week on the 22nd, that's, that color along has actually been rescheduled. 
So I need to take a look at that and make sure that everyone knows that because we have coloring camp on that day. So there will be no live coloring along on the um, coloring camp week because instead we'll be a coloring along, you know? Um, Lynn is saying maybe bundle volumes one and two for a holiday gift. I can't bundle them on Amazon, but I can bundle them on my website. But that's a really good idea. I better get, I better hurry up, right? Because I'm already working on uh, uh, Color Along Volume 13. And Color Along Volume 13 will be out. Let me look at my war board in my office here. Color Along 13 will be out on August, will be out around the middle of August. Um, and people that are part of my Colorist Academy membership will be getting that book around September 15th, I believe. I think that's how it's working out. I gotta make sure. I could, the dates are subject to change, so we don't know. Hey, thanks for watching me this morning. Thanks for uh, for joining this live call along this morning. Hope you have a great day. And um, this Thursday, I hope you can join me. I'm gonna show you a picture of it, actually. This Thursday, I hope you can join me for my live painting sale. I'll be live on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And um, hey, Laurel. Yes, I will keep you in my thoughts and prayers. Uh, Thursday, I'm having a live painting sale. And what that means is that I have original paintings at rock bottom prices. So I do this a few times a year. And I take my original paintings. You can see them on the screen right now. And these are going to be um, all smaller paintings they're going to be uh smaller than eight by tens some of them are four by six some are six by eight some are eight by ten and um they're going to range from ten dollars to sixty dollars different uh paintings that will be shown on thursday morning and then the way it works is i show them live and if you like something you can comment in the comments say sold and then um i'll get the mailed out to you and i'll send you a link of how you can pay for it in the, over the next uh within 48 hours after the sale and if it's something that you are purchasing for someone else and you don't want them to know that you purchased it, you can just kind of send me a message and say, I want that one. So everything will really have, um, will have a number on it and you'll be able to purchase any of them that are there. So they're all original paintings. They usually sell on my website for between $35 and $300. Um, and um, they're cute in a frame and they're just, I just do this a few times a year so that everyone has an opportunity to own some sort of original painting and then they get shipped out to you they get signed you get the original painting like you don't just get a copy of it you get the original painting um so that's what's happening on um on thursday the video will still be available diane is asking will we have access to a video if not able to watch at that time yes the video um the video will be um will be made available you can go back and you can watch it and you can uh watch it at a later date that's fine melody is asking do you have it posted so i can share on my facebook it's on my facebook page under events if you need the link i can send it to you uh, but it's on my facebook page as uh, under events on the left hand side and you can see that and you can share it on your facebook page so um hey karen so that's what's happening that is what's happening uh this week so i'll be live on thursday doing that um, and then do I have a call along for anybody else? I might. Do I have one? Um, no, that's it. So I meet, so Thursday is our live painting sale. And then Saturday I meet with the Colorist Academy, uh, for our third, uh, monthly class. We are creating daily word boxes on that day. So that's going to be fun. Hey, thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you all soon. See ya.